Greetings and salutations. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Wesley Webb, pastor of the Grace Baptist Church in Greater Downtown Metropolitan Macby, South Carolina, and welcome to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. I want to read a few verses from the very familiar story of the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15. It's verse 17 down through verse number 22 where the Bible says, uh, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he sent him into his fields to feed swine and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, just like he had planned, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to him, or rather to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring the fatted calf and so on. You know how the story goes. I think it's interesting that the prodigal son had thought in his mind what he would say to his father. I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I've sinned against heaven and before thee. I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of the hired servants. He had planned to tell his father that he was not worthy to be called a son and wanted him to make him as one of his servants. Now, have you ever felt that way? What way? Not worthy to be called a son? Sometimes I don't even feel worthy to be called a servant, much less a son. How about you? Well, here's the thing. The son felt this way and had it all made up in his mind what he would say, but if you notice when he came to his father and he started his spill, as sincere as it was, his father would have none of it. In verse 20, he arose, came to his father. When he was a great way off, his father saw him, compassion, ran, fell on and kissed him. The son said, Father, I've sinned against heaven and in thy sight. No more worthy to be called thy son, just like he had proposed in his mind that he would say. But the father said to his servants in verse 22, when he started to tell his father he didn't feel worthy to be called a son and request to just be a servant, his father just interrupted him and ignored that talk altogether. So what's the lesson for us to learn here? I suppose it's that it doesn't matter how worthy we feel that we are or are not, that as a Christian, we're a son. It's not an excuse for our sins or our failures or our bad decisions. However, it puts things in perspective and it may take away a weapon or a tactic that the devil would use to keep us discouraged. None of us are worthy, but to the Father, that's beside the point. We are sons and daughters. Well, thank you for allowing me a few minutes of your time. That's all for today's Morning Minute Meditation. Y'all have a great day, and remember, you're a son. <laughs>